Every time that you hear about product management, the most important thing that you hear is that you had to provide value to your customers. And whereas this is an important thing, it might not be the most important thing that you have to do when you're a product manager. Let me tell you a story. Whenever you go to a plane, one of the things that people are going to tell you is about the safety and security within the plane. If you are not listening to music or watching Netflix at that point already, you probably have heard this many times. In case of pressure loss, from the ceiling of the airplane, they are going to drop some oxygen masks. And the first thing that you have to do is put it to yourself. Don't try to help others until you put it on yourself. Then you are ready to help others put it on themselves. But why do I tell this? Is that in reality, when you are building products, yes, you're building products for your customers. But if you are not able to help yourself first, you're probably never going to be able to succeed in building those products for your customers. So are your customers the most important things that you have to pay attention to? Well, it might not be. It might be that the most important thing that you have to pay attention to is your team, is the people that you're working with, the people that are actually building that product for your customers that are going to be able to generate that value for them. That's the way that you're going to build a business. That's the way that you're going to grow your product. That's the way that you're going to bring value to those people. But if you're concentrating only on bringing value to the customers, uh, forgetting or neglecting completely the team that is building that product, then you might have problems. Hey, I'm Juan Rodriguez. I talk about tech products and how co tech companies nowadays work. If you're interested in this, please subscribe and like the video. So yes, when I'm talking about products and when I'm talking about product management, I will always talk that the most important thing is that you're bringing value to your customers. And that's still true. But in order to be able to do that, there is one thing that you have to unlock, which is building the team that is going to trust you, that is going to work with you to build that product that brings value to them. And there's going to be many things that you can do in order to take care of your team to make sure that it's growing in a healthy way. And I know that there's going to be many different points of view from different directors, managers, and each one is going to have a very different style. But I'm going to tell you which ones are the ones that personally I think that are the most important to build that trust in that team. First of all, you have to create a safe environment where people can express their opinions, can share their ideas, and that they are not going to be shut down without any questioning or even down turn down talk down play down play well whatever is the word you know what i talk about but that you are going to respect that people have different opinions they might not be the best ones they might not be the uh they might not be the most valuable ones for the company but you are going to take them into account people can express what they think and there's not going to be anybody basically trash talking them while they're expressing those opinions Second, and very similar to the previous one, is that you have to have an open culture, that you are able to be open about the things that you are thinking, that you also, as a, as a manager, are also expressing your opinions and telling them honestly what you are thinking. Um, usually, that can, as a reciprocal move from the people in the team, they are also going to be open about their ideas and the ways of working and the things that you think that you should be doing. This means that, for example, you're going to share all the documents, um, well, at least most of them, there's sometimes going to be some privacy issues that you cannot share everything, but you're going to be generally be able to share everything and everybody should be able to access it, review it, comment it, and so on and not necessarily hide things just because of the matter of hiding and this means also that you are going to work with them in order for them to give their opinion on those plans that you are building. The next one is that's going to be honesty and of course again very related to the previous ones is that you are going to be honest about the things that are going on in the company, the things that you are doing whether you are a manager or whether you are a product manager or you are a uh, engineer, it doesn't matter so much what is your position, but you are going to be honest about what the things that you're, you're doing and openly share with them. And also be upfront about the things that you're planning and don't try to hide them or try to minimize them and just tell the truth about how you're working. So very related again to the open culture. And finally, all the one that is going to be for me very important is that you're going to trust your team members. Again, trust is usually earned by you trusting first the others and then the others usually are going to trust on you. It's very easy to say, but maybe not so easy to do. How can you earn trust? Well, there might be many different ways, 
but probably one of the best ways to trust each other is when you start doing things together, when you are starting to work together, when you're having planning sessions, when you're having uh, workshops, when you understand how the other person works and how they react and how they contribute, then usually it's how you're starting to build trust. And I think that one of the most important things here that what you're trying to achieve is that your team is very cohesive, that it works really well together, that it has diversity, that's a different story, that it has different types of opinions, different types of experiences and backgrounds that are going to contribute and enrich your team. But one of the things that you are going to have to try to achieve is that how can your team work together with each other and collaborate. And this means that that doesn't matter so much in which role you are, whether you are a manager or a director or a team lead or a, a software engineer, that you are able to collaborate with the rest and work together to understand what you're trying to achieve. This is going to build the trust within the team and people to understand how each other's work and what direction that product, that vision, that value that you're bringing to your customers is going. I gave all these opinions from my point of view. I used to be a product director in a tech company in Finland. If you want to hear more about what a role of a product director is, go check out this video. I will see you in the next one. And remember, stay safe.